When do I get my surprise? Soon, dear. Well? Ready when you are. Great. Open your eyes. Don't you just love her? Her name's Garnet, and she's all yours. Well, what do you think? Whose horse is that? Mine. Isn't she beautiful? She's OK, I guess. Darling, why don't you take Garnet for a ride? <laughs> no. I don't want to ride her. I hate that stupid horse. Well, you just said she was beautiful. How can you say you hate Garnet? She's gorgeous, and she's a fantastic jumper. She should be, what we paid for her. Daddy, you said I could pick my own horse. And I didn't pick this one, so just return her or something. You can't just return her like she's a pair of shoes. Daddy, please, for me. Well, I'll have a word with the old owner. I can't promise anything, and if we're stuck with her, so are you. Shana, Kim wants to know if you found it. No, I haven't found a location yet. The director is going to kill me. Woo <laughs> I gotta go. Now, Kamechi! So cool. Oh, there you are. Here we are. Oh, sorry, I, I saw you out in the paddock before. I, I'm Shoshana Green. Hi, I'm Carolyn. This is Stevie and Lisa. Hey. Okay. That was uh, pretty amazing stuff you were doing with your horses. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm a location scout. We're uh, making a film in the area. You might have heard of it, the, um, the Lone Rider. Not Sky oh. Ransom's movie. Yeah, see, tomorrow's the first day of shooting. Sky and... Ransom. Sky? Sky? Yeah, Sky. <laughs> Do you know Sky personally? What's he really like? I've seen all his movies. <laughs> OK, uh, the answers are yes, a great guy, and good to hear. So this, this is Pine Hollow. This is where you all learn to ride like that? Yeah. We've got the best teacher in the world. The trails are great. The horses are the best. OK. Well, our location fell through for the opening scene, and I'm looking for a new one. So uh, I'll have to take a look around. But Pine Hollow seems perfect. Yes. Everyone else gets a gorgeous horse, and I'm stuck with this mule. Don't you think that's unfair? Huh? Oh, yeah, it totally sucks. I mean, a mare? My parents knew I wanted a stallion. Your life is so tough. Tell me about it. You've got to let them shoot the movie here, Max. It's only one scene. I'd have to close the stables during filming. I'd lose business. Oh, you'll be well compensated. Did I mention we'll be auditioning for a small role in the film? One of us could be in the movie? Yeah. Please, Max, please. All right. You talk yes. me into it. I'm going to meet the Sky Ransom. How was your day, darling? OK, I guess. I got an OK mark on my mess test. Patch and I did some cantering. Oh, and I'm going to meet Sky Ransom. What? No way. Who or what is a Sky Ransom? He's a screen god. I might even get a part in the movie. They're auditioning at Pine Hollow. I want to audition too. No way, Melanie can't come. Oh, I don't see why not. <sighs> Hi, I memorise the line. Have you? Who are you? Do I know you? I'm Melanie. Do you ride here? No, I'm Lisa's sister. <sighs> Don't talk to me. Is Sky going to be auditioning with us? No, he's resting up for rehearsals. Oh. 
I am so sorry. Okay. Ian, that horse, it, uh, it startled me. I'm actually looking for Sky Ransom. You and every other female within a five mile radius? <laughs> well, actually, I'm here to interview him. Uh, Deborah Hale from the Daily News. Max Regnery. Nice to meet you. Uh, good luck with the interview. Thanks. Lone Rider auditions, take one. The Rome Lighter's coming. Next. Wait. Uh, the Lone Rider's coming this way. The Lone Rider is coming this way. The Lone Rider's coming this way. I know the line, really. <laughs> the Lone Rider's coming this way. Next. Do you know who I am? I know Sky Ransom personally. The Lone Rider's coming this way. Wait, hang on, let me go, wait. I can do it. <clears throat> the role. <laughs> Max, I have to talk to you. Yes? I was supposed to get a part in the movie and I didn't. Well, I thought Lisa's sister got the part. <sighs> she doesn't even ride here. My parents pay a lot of money to board Cobalt at Pine Hollow. And you can't just let people shoot a movie here without talking to the horse owners. <laughs> yeah, she's um, probably right. I mean, we don't want anyone to be inconvenienced. I'll talk to the director and see if we can arrange a small role for... Veronica. Veronica. Veronica mm. D'Angelo. <laughs> OK. Great. Sky Ransom, how are you doing? Never been better, right, Sky? <laughs> right. Did you get the chance to look over those new pages? What oh, new pages? Right, I almost forgot. I love the changes to the script. Wait, wait, I, I have to jump? Yeah, is that a problem? No, 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 it's fantastic. Very dramatic. The audience will love it. Great. I'll see you in rehearsal then. Are you trying to blow this? You promised me no jump. The, the, the director changed his mind. Stop whining. All you need is a good horse, OK? Let me handle it. Guess who's going to be in Lone Rider? Melanie, I know. You don't have to rub it in. No, look. Comanche's going to be a movie star? That's Sky Ransom. Come on, let's go watch the rehearsals. Okay, Sky, just ride across the ring and over that fence there. He looks pretty nervous. He's probably just in character. Not so fast. <laughs> what is he doing? I'm going to give that poster boy a piece of my mind. Looks like somebody's going to do it for you. You said he could jump. I, you know, Sky always showing off. He looks like he's never seen a horse. It's just nerves. Trust me, OK? By tomorrow, he'll be ready. <laughs> What are you doing out there? I told you, I, I don't know how to jump. Then learn. Look, I pulled a lot of strings to get you this gig, and you're not going to blow this for me. I'm sorry. I, I, I'll, I'll try harder. You better. This is our big chance to get out of kid roles and make some real money. But believe me, Sky, if you don't learn to jump, and real soon, this job will be your last. <laughs> I, uh, I spoke with the director. Now, it's only one line, but it'll play in a scene with Sky Ransom. Really? Thank you. I can work with this. I'm sure you'll blow them away. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Talk about acting. I've never heard Veronica say that before. <laughs> Look, you've got to learn how to jump, and we're going to teach you. What do you get? Money? No, all we want is for you not to hurt Comanche. Look, if anyone finds out... Yeah, we know. You'll get fired. We promise not to tell anyone. There's a reporter here from the Daily News. We have to distract her. How? We can't do anything. But Mrs. Reg can. Interesting job. It's meeting all sorts of wonderful people. Oh, well, yes, when you, uh, when you do get to make them. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of research involved, I suppose. You know, background. Well, we get sent biographies from the publicity people from the picture. And the locations, like, like Pine Hollow here. You probably want some information about the stables and the, and the horses. Yes. Oh, Max, what a coincidence. But you told me to wait. Yeah, Deborah the... was asking for information about uh, the history and the background of Pine Hollow. Um. So why don't you show her around? Oh, look, I'm sure we'll do I really don't have time. Great. Great. Have fun. <laughs> so, uh, do you ride? Oh, no, no. I hate horses. <laughs> All right. Watch Stevie carefully. See how Stevie is setting him up? Yes! <laughs> See? Nothing to it. Yeah. What? That wasn't a standard dismount? We've been at this all day. Well, maybe we should practice rearing. Rearing? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm supposed to jump the fence and then make the horse rear and then gallop off. <laughs> I'm that bad, huh? Well, I guess that's it. I might as well tell Ben it's over. Maybe not. Can you believe Veronica's parents? They bought her a horse without even asking her what she wanted. This is an awesome horse. Check her out. She's got great legs. See her ears? She's totally listening to us. And you should see her move. It's like raw power. I'd kill for a horse like this. So what's it like, being a movie star? Well, it's okay, I guess. I miss hanging out with my friends and family. Everyone wants something from Sky. No one wanted anything from Bruce. Bruce? <laughs> Bruce Krasilson. <laughs> that, that's my real name. So, what about you? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Melanie, she's in a scene with you. Oh, yeah, 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 she seems nice. She's great. It's just sometimes it's not easy having a perfect kid sister. I guess I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> Melanie's the one who should be jealous. You're pretty cool, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> you make a great shake. important scene with Sky Ransom today. They have to do my hair and they'll probably give me a manicure and then there's still wardrobe. The movie business is so glamorous. Hi, yeah. I play one of the women that the Lone Rider saves. Uh-huh. Sky Ransom's the Lone Rider. Ah. Uh, don't they usually hold auditions months before a big movie like this? Yes. How'd you get a part the day before? I guess I have that star quality or something. They wrote a part just for me, you know. Must be pretty important. It is. I've done a lot of acting before. Right. All my friends are so jealous. I better go. You know what hair and makeup people are like. Actually, no. I don't. Don't 
Action. And action. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. How many times do I have to tell you, kid? Don't stare into the camera. I wasn't. What's the line? Um, thank you. Right. So do you think you could say that this time? Still rolling. Still rolling. Action. Cut, we're moving on. What? Uh, Wait, I didn't get to say my line. We're out of time, kid. Thanks for coming out. I'm not done yet. Oh, yes, you are. Clear the set. You can't do that. Sky, it's me, Veronica. Tell them they can't cut my line. Do I know you? I didn't want to be in this stupid movie anyway. Anything? Oh, nothing much. Just Veronica getting kicked off set. It was so cool. How can you be so calm? What if Sky doesn't make it? Where's Stevie? Don't worry, we've got it covered. And action! The Lone Rider's coming this way. I can't look. Come on, look, you're gonna miss it. Not exactly. What do you mean? Come on, we'll show you. But I saw you jump. Stevie? You jumped instead of Sky? We were gonna tell you, but there wasn't time. Don't worry. I'll still remember you little people when I'm a big star. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind taking a photo? Yeah, sure. Say cheese. Cheese! I'm glad everything worked out. Yeah, Ben's been almost nice to me all afternoon. What are you gonna do after Lone Rider? Well, Ben wants me to go on a big publicity tour, but... I'll probably swing home first. Do you think you'll come back to Pine Hollow? Can Nancy will miss you? <laughs> Only if you'll be here. You can count on it. Oh, Sky, about that interview. Oh yeah, just give me a second. Yeah. Goodbye, Lisa. <laughs> Bye, Bruce. Now, where have you been? I have been looking for you everywhere. I have so many questions to ask you. He kissed you? Bruce? Lisa, did you see my big scene? I sure did. You were great. Kim was right. You're a natural. Still talking about Lone Rider. Only losers were in that movie. What does that make the people who got kicked off the set? Good one, Lise. <laughs> What's wrong with Veronica? Alphabetically or in order of annoyance? How was the interview with Deborah Hale? Oh, it wasn't so bad. If you wanted to say goodbye, you just missed her. No, oh, that's okay. We, uh, we have a date next Saturday. What? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> nice.
Max is in love. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he gorgeous? Garnet's way prettier. Red says she's the best horse he's ever seen at Pine Hollow. Not better than Cobalt. He thinks you're crazy not to want Garnet. I told him I might buy her off you. I didn't say I didn't want her. Yes, you did. You... I just said that I wanted my parents to check with me first. That's all. Garnet's not for sale. What? Max is all the rust bucket. I think she means Max and Deborah. He's crazy about her. You can tell. Ah! Whoa, steady girl. She okay? I think she hurt her leg. Looks like her fat lock. I better take a look. Do you mind? No, don't be silly. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't you like horses? Uh, they just don't like me. <laughs> you just have to get to know them. Go on, pat him. <laughs> See? That wasn't so bad, was it? No! Oh. Ooh. <sighs> Sorry about that. You know horses. More than I ever thought I would. France is fine. <laughs> Ready to go? I can't go looking like this. Ah, oh, it's not so bad. You can, uh, you can cover the stain with your purse. Or not. Well, look, if you go all the way home to change, we'll miss our reservation. Oh, no, you can borrow some of Mum's clothes. Did he just say, oh, yeah, this is not going well? Thanks, but maybe I'll just go home. We can do this another time. Sure, okay. Uh, when's good for you? Um, I'll call you. <laughs> I'll call you? Poor oh, Max. Even I know that's the kiss of death. This is serious. Max needs major help in the romance department. <sighs> romance novels? If we're going to help Max, we need to do our research. You don't need these. You did your research when you kissed Sky Ransom. <sighs> Hi, Deborah. It's Max. I'm, I'm fine. How are you? Good, good, good. Look, uh, about the other day... Max! Uh, hang on just one second. What is it, Ashley? I can't find Dime's saddle. Did you check the tuck room? Yeah. We'll check again. Sorry about that, Deb. And look, I'm really sorry about Prancer getting mud on you the other day. The light's gone out in the tuck room again. Excuse me, Deb, just one more. So what do you want me to do about it? <sighs> Call an electrician? I'll get to it. Later. I'm back. No, no, don't go. There won't be any more interruptions. I promise. Yeah, I wouldn't bother. It's not the bulb, the wiring shot. Yeah, well, <laughs> what did Max say? Same as always. That he'll get around to it. Look, I know my life is pretty much horses and riders at the moment, but I want to make time for other things. For you, just give me another chance. Great. Great, where would you like to go? What the... What? No, of course I'm listening. Uh, dinner and a play. Sounds good to me. So, uh, I'll pick you up at... De hey. Hello? Hello, Deborah. Hello? I was just trying to fix the light. I can't afford any more of your help. Thanks to you, the cost to fix the wiring just doubled. 
Come on, Max. It had to be fixed sooner or later. Well, I was hoping for later. This place is bankrupting me. And I still have to fix a broken window, the, the fence... And the tractor. What's wrong with the tractor? I was going to tell you about that. Um, see, there was this weird noise, and I was just trying to f fix it. Um, Max, you're not going out with Deborah dressed like that, are you? What do you mean? You desperately need our help. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? I wonder how Max and Deborah are doing. If I fall asleep before they come back, you have to wake me up. It's so romantic. Maybe they'll fall in love and get married, and then there'll be little Maxes and Deborahs running around Pine Hollow, riding on their little Shetland ponies. <laughs> You've been reading way too many of these romance magazines, Elise. I have not. Give it back. Prince or frog? Take your kissability quiz to find out. <laughs> Sorry. It's always acting up. It'll only take a few minutes to fix. We should have taken your car. Don't worry. They'll hold our reservations. I don't understand how you can't like horses. I don't understand how you can get up at the crack of dawn to shovel horse manure. Oh. What time do you city folk shovel your manure? <laughs> We try not to do it at all, actually. They're holding hands. Yeah, but they're talking about manure. Is that a good sign? Shh. I can't hear what they're saying. I like you, Max. <laughs> the horses I could do without. <laughs> Me too, some days. Really? Yeah, look at this place. The pipes are rusting, the wiring shot. I'm here seven days a week. Do you know what I would give to sleep in just once? He's complaining about Pine Hollow. I thought Max loved everything about this place. And horses. Max, I know it means a lot to you, but maybe you've outgrown it. It happens. Yeah, I know. It's just hard. My father gave it to me. Max, it's time to sell up. You agreed. Mm. I hate to admit it, but you're right. OK, I'll sell to the first buyer. OK? I don't believe it. It can't be true. We all heard it. Max is going to sell Pine Hollow. Max can't sell Pine Hollow. It's all because of Deborah. She's the one who hates horses. Right. If we hadn't have been such great matchmakers, we never would have been in this mess. That's right. We were such great matchmakers. So let's be great matchbreakers. Hi, girls. Have you all seen Max? Oh, hi, Laurie. Her name's Deborah. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's just I'm not very good with names, and it's kind of hard to remember you all. Us all who? Max's girlfriends. Stevie! <laughs> Deborah dropped this off yesterday. It sure looks expensive. I could buy a new tractor for what this would cost. And who can take two weeks off? Two weeks? I can't take two days around here. That's too bad. Deborah's always talking about how much she wants to get away. Really? Oh, yeah. Travel's like her favorite thing. She doesn't like staying in one place for too long. Mrs. 
Charlotte, Max has been looking all over for you. He has why? Don't know. I think it had something to do with Pandora. What's wrong? I was just about to take her out for a hat. You'd better talk to Max first. It sounded really important. He's in his office. Don't go in there. Why not? Uh, because Max is sort of busy right now. Oh. Deborah, wait. Max has a surprise for you. <laughs> Max is taking you on a trail ride. Isn't that romantic? I'm not sure romantic is the word I'd used. <laughs> Look, where is Max? He has to finish a couple of things first. So I'll help you with Patch. You want me to get up on this animal? What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. It's just, um, from this angle, its nose looks a lot bigger. You'll love him. You don't even have to steer. Patch knows the way. Right. OK. So I'll just, um, get on up. <laughs> Not a problem. This is Max's idea of romance, huh? You're not wearing that, are you? You guys chose this suit. I know. It's just, well, I guess Mrs. Reg and I were wrong. Deborah said that outfit made you look like a... Like what? A backcountry hick. A backcountry hick? That's why you've never met any of her friends. She didn't think they'd understand. Do you have time to change? God, if this means so much to Max, then where is he? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look. Will someone get me off this thing? Oh, oh, oh. Here, just swing your leg over the side and just hop off. My, my cute, one of a kind, Sartori shoes. I had to have these custom made. They took eight weeks and several little Italian men to make. And now, ugh, they're just, they're ruined. I guess that's why Laurie always wears riding boots when she goes riding with Max. <laughs> Max. Look at me. I'm covered in mud. My shoes are ruined. Well, I'm sorry if you're too good for this place. But if you can't stand a little dirt, then what are you doing in a stable? Do you know that I'm afraid of horses? Then you get mad when I don't want to be around them. Well, I guess I just don't get it, being a stupid farm boy. Obviously, I'm too dirty for someone as perfect as you. Obviously, you're better off with one of your many horsey women. What are you doing? What? Your class is waiting for you. Oh. Right. Thanks, Mum. Hello? Sure. Uh, Any time after four? I'll be here. Thanks. Bye. Not the call you were expecting. Max. Sorry to bother you. Uh, Jake forgot to turn off the hose after he watered the horses this morning. OK. No, see, there's a huge flooding in three of the stalls. I'm sure you can handle it. Is he OK? I've never seen him like this before. He's miserable. 
miserable. It's all our fault. Did you see him in the lesson? He didn't even notice when Comanche got the wrong lead. I know. It's like Max doesn't care about anything anymore. We have to fix things. Lisa's right. We're the ones who wreck things with Deborah. So we have to get them back together. That means we lose Pine Hollow. We'll always find another stable, but there's only one Max. Please, Max, you have to come. Why don't you get Stevie or Carol to go with you? They're busy, and I need someone to go on the trail with me. Prance has been acting really spooky. All right. I guess it's either that or get all this paperwork done. Let's go. Mrs. Reg, are you busy? No more than usual, Carol. <laughs> we need one of your famous picnics. Oh, Saddle Club having its meeting in the field today, is it? It's not for us. Well, it kind of is. We need to fix something. And you need my gourmet sandwiches to do it. Mm. Say no more. Where are we going? I thought this was supposed to be a quick interview for your school project. It is. It's just, well, you know, get a better mark if you choose a creative background. Here we are. What's this? You probably want to be left alone. No! no. Would someone like to tell me what's going on? Look, I should go. No, wait. You can't. It's all our fault. Max doesn't really have lots of girlfriends. We made that up. And Deborah never called you a backcountry hick. Um, and Deborah never dropped off those travel brochures. We're really sorry, but we didn't want you to sell Pine Hollow. What? Who told you that? We heard you. You said you were going to sell it to the first buyer who came along. I'd never sell Pine Hollow. We were talking about his truck. It's a death trap. So you never said? I'd die before I left this place. Oops. <laughs> Oops. We should be going now. <laughs> See you back at the stables. Bye. Hold it. <laughs> you think you can wreck a man's life and get away with it? We're really, really sorry. I don't think that's good enough. You deserve to be punished. Definitely. None of my mother's gourmet sandwiches for you. That's cruel. Oh, yes. Bye-bye. <laughs> Are we good or what? If we hadn't have broken them up in the first place, then they wouldn't have been as happy to go back together. Another excellent plan from the Saddle Club. the way she flirts with him. I know, it's pathetic. See you at the barbecue. What barbecue? Phil's family's throwing a big party this weekend. Very upscale. Anyone who's anyone is invited. <laughs> Calm down. It's his parents' party. Phil probably had nothing to do with it. Yeah, right. How come he totally ignored me? He didn't even see you. is probably going to cover Phil's party for the society page. What are you going to wear? I don't know. My mum's picking me up to go shopping. Were you planning on untacking Garnet, or were you just going to leave her standing out there all day? It's not my problem. Ask the stable hands. It's their job. We found her running loose in the riding ring. She could have been hurt. 
Christy, the Spazzle Club is mad at me. Gee, I wonder if it's because you're invited to Phil's party and they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Can I brush him? Uh, not right now, Melanie. Why not? What's wrong? Where's Delilah? Samson hasn't been eating properly. What do you mean? Uh, mastitis. It hurts Delilah when Samson feeds, so she kicks him away. She's a bad mum. No, uh, she's sick. She, she can't help it. The vet put Delilah on antibiotics and she'll be better soon. But what about poor Samson? He won't take any food from us. We've tried everything. Dr. Judy's going to feed him through a tube. How would you feed a foal with a tube? We have to put it down his throat. It doesn't hurt him. That's awful. You're mean. He's got to eat, Melanie. He'll be fine. Don't worry. You can't just keep ignoring the horse like that or it'll go wild. But she never spent any time with Cobalt either. And he was perfect. The only reason Cobalt was so great was because Carol rode him all the time. I guess I could ride her. No! You can't keep on saving Veronica's butt. So what if her horse goes wild? It's her own fault. I don't care about Veronica. I care about Garnet. Hey, guys. You busy? Red's got his hands full with Samson, and I promised to deliver some portable horse enclosures today. I could really use a few extra hands. Anyone up to helping me? Yeah. OK. Sure. Spirited mare. Well, it's my own fault. I haven't had time to ride her all year. I think she's given up on me. Mm. Oh, and thanks for helping me out with those enclosures, Max. I was at my fit's end. Ah, oh, it's no problem. I did have some help. Wow. Stevie, Carol, Lisa, this is Dee Marston. Hi, girls. Marston? You mean you're. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mom! Hi, Phil. What are you doing here? I mean, you're helping Max. I can see that. How long are you staying? You're leaving soon, right? <laughs> Climb over, you might hurt Samson. Open the door. Forget it. Looks like you've got an extra foal on your hands today. Hey! Ooh. Mrs. Reg! You're doing just fine, Reg. No one's sticking any tubes down Samson's throat. Be careful in there. He's only a baby. Duh! <laughs> See what I mean? He so doesn't want me here. He practically asked us to leave. He's just acting weird because he's nervous around you. Yeah, right. He totally likes you, Stevie. Of all the jobs we could have done for Max, we had to pick the one that ended up at Phil's house. Did you see her? She's perfect! Nomad? Yeah. Paint a blaze on her forehead, groom her properly, brush out her mane, and what have you got? A dead ringer for Garnet. I bought four choices. There's this top with these pants. They're totally hot in New York right now. They're okay, but I thought this party was formal. It is. We're talking big social event. Ew, that's so my mother dressed me. What about this? Do you think it's too ordinary? That could be okay. Depends. Are you wearing your hair up or down? <sighs> You're right. I have to figure that out too. How am I ever going to be ready by Saturday? Here you go. Nice warm cow's milk. It's yummy. Come on. <laughs> Samson, you'll love it. 
Hey, that's okay. I'll make you some more. That's it. I'm opening the store. It's okay, Red. Just leave her. But she doesn't understand it. Let her come to it. Otherwise, she's going to get more upset. But won't she notice that it's not her horse? Hey, this is Veronica we're talking about. She's going to be thinking about what she's wearing, not what she's riding. You're right. By the time she figures it out, she'll already be making a fool of herself in the dressage ring. And maybe, when she rides an out-of-control horse like Nomad, she'll realize how lucky she is to have Garnet. It's perfect! But aren't we forgetting one huge thing? What? How are we going to get Nomad? Hey, Phil! No way. We need to borrow your horse. <laughs> Come on, Samson, please. You love it. <laughs> Just one little sip. Melanie, can you let us in, please? No. Dr. Judy's here to see Samson. It's OK. Delilah's had a shot, and she'll be fine in a day or two. <laughs> but right now, Samson needs to be fed. You can help me feed him if you like. No way! It won't hurt him one bit, I promise. No! Come on, Melanie. Enough is enough. <laughs> we just want to teach Veronica a lesson. So she'll start looking after Garnet. OK, count me in. Great. So we'll see you tomorrow morning for Operation Flying Change. Sorry to break up the reunion, guys, but we should get back. Yeah, thanks for all your help, girls. It was really nice to finally put some faces to the names. Phil talks about you all the time. So I um, hope we'll see you all this weekend. No! I mean, it's just a family thing. They'd be bored. Well, well Phil, it's OK. We're having a family barbecue Saturday afternoon and you'd all be more than welcome. Mum, I told you, they don't want to come. Phil, will you stop at your being rude? It's OK, Mrs Marsden. We're all busy on Saturday anyway. If Phil's in, then I'm out. Come on, Stevie. He was embarrassed. He wanted to rub it in that he invited Veronica to his party and not us. If he really liked Veronica, why would he help us trick her? I don't know. He must be planning to humiliate me again somehow. Forget about Phil. Think about teaching Veronica a lesson. What's more important, Garnet or Phil's stupid party? Come on, Stevie, we really need you. We can't pull off a plan like this without you. OK, I'll do it. But I'm not talking to Phil ever. Got it? I'll call him. Phil! Oh, are you hiding out here? Girl just phoned. Who? Uh, Lisa from Pine Hollow. Oh. Were you hoping it was someone else? No. Actually, I'm surprised any of those girls are calling you after the way you acted. Hey. I can't believe how rude you were. I told you I didn't want them to come. But isn't Stevie the girl that you couldn't stop talking about? No. Oh, I think that you hurt her feelings. She doesn't care. Well, I think that she does. I saw her looking at you. She does not. Look, why don't you just invite her on Saturday? I bet she says yes, and she might even help... I'm not inviting anyone. She's busy on Saturday anyway. Nomad by now. Looks like your creep's right on time. Will you give me something, Stevie? Nope. I got it. Thanks. I don't believe it. That cupboard looks like a bomb hit it. I'll have to get that cleaned up one of these days. Oh, yeah. Messy. See you later. 
This stuff's gross. Do you think it'll stay on long enough? I hope so. If it comes off, we're dead. Like the new jacket? What's wrong with your neck? He's right over there. Who? Oh. What's he doing here? He doesn't have a lesson today. Isn't it obvious? He's come to watch your private lesson. Of course. Hi, Phil. Hi. It was nice of you to come watch. I mean, it's just another lesson, but... Oh, yeah. I just wanted to see how you're doing with Garnet. <sighs> She's an absolute dream. It's like we were made for each other. <laughs> Hello? My horse better be tacked up. My lesson starts in five minutes. Three. Get out of my way. You're going to make me late for my private lesson. <laughs> Something's wrong. Stable hands did their job for once. It's about time people started paying attention around here. Come on, Garnet. Walk on. She didn't even notice. We probably could have switched Samson and Garnet, and Veronica wouldn't even know the <laughs> difference. Come on, I don't want to miss a single second of this lesson. What are you doing, darling? I'm trying to find the secret. It's got to be in one of these things. Secret? What secret? Defeating a foe. I just don't want them to put a tube down his throat. Oh, you know we wouldn't do anything to hurt Samson. But he's only a baby. OK. All right. Do you think she'll try a half pass? <laughs> I hope she tries a flying change. <laughs> this should be good. I'm just glad I got to help. I can't wait to see. Oh, I get it. So I'm good enough to talk to at Pine Hollow, but not good enough to come to your party. And Veronica is? What? Uh, that's not it at all. You're probably planning on telling her about the horse switch, aren't you? No. We're so dead. What's wrong? Max changed the schedule. Veronica's not doing dressage. She's jumping. I don't think Nomad's ever seen a jump. We have to stop her. OK, small vertical first and then the combo. Hey, hold on. What horse are you riding? Scarlet. I just groomed her so well you didn't recognise her. Veronica, wait! I didn't know she'd be jumping. Veronica, wait! Slow down! Whoa, Garnet, whoa! Ah! Oh. Oh. You okay? <sighs> this isn't Garnet! You just noticed that now. I don't believe this. What kind of stunt? What were you thinking? It was a stupid thing to do. We never meant to hurt anyone. We didn't want Veronica to forget about Garnet. I know what you were doing, but this was totally irresponsible and dangerous. You're suspended from Pine Hollow for one week. Only a week? They tried to kill me. If you learn to look after your own horse, Veronica, instead of handing her off at every opportunity, then maybe this wouldn't have happened. But the light is on the mend. The information's gone. How did you get him to take it? Uh, I used honey. I put the honey on my fingers and the teeth. And then Samson, he, he licked my fingers. So then I put the bottle up and he licked the teeth too. So I tipped up the bottle and in, in goes the milk. Easy. This is a good start. So you won't have to put the tube down his throat, will you? If you keep feeding him, we won't have to. Really? Every three hours until Delilah's fully recovered. It could be a couple of days. Every three hours? Even at night? I'm afraid so. It's OK, Melanie. If you show me how to do it, I'll take the night shift. <laughs> 
I'm sorry you got into trouble. It was worth it. At least Max told Veronica to take care of Garnet. I guess, but it's a drag you won't be able to ride. Did you just come by to rub it in? No, I just... I, I feel pretty bad about my parents' party this weekend. I didn't want you to come... What? I didn't want anyone to come from Pine Hollow. Yeah, right, except Veronica. No, my parents invited the D'Angelo's. It's kind of embarrassing, but my mum put me in charge of the kids' pony rides. That's what Max's horse enclosures are for. It's a charity day to raise money. I have to wear a sheep costume with a face bit cut out. <laughs> really? See, this is why I didn't tell you about the party in the first place. I'm sorry, Phil. Anyway, do you guys want to come to the party? I don't know. We'd love to. <laughs> Shouldn't you be gone by now? You're banned from the stables, you know. We wanted to apologise first. We didn't know you were going to jump. That was totally dangerous. Please. I knew it wasn't Garnet. I just went along with it because Phil was there. Uh-huh. He's from our rival pony club. The honour of Pine Hollow was at stake. Sure, Veronica. See you guys on Saturday. You're not inviting them, are you? Yeah, they're helping out with the kids' pony rides. The what? Yeah, and we're going to dress up too. There's this great cow costume. My mum said she needs someone to help out with the hot dogs. Uh, actually, I'm really sorry, Phil. Uh, I completely forgot. <laughs> I'm busy on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> My jacket, it's so soft. Gorgeous. Just because we're learning to ride like rodeo trash doesn't mean we have to dress like it. Stevie and I did this weekend last year. Yeah, it was great. You'll love it. Never can tell. <laughs> Howdy, everybody. My name's John Brightstar. Me and my daddy are gonna teach you all the ways of the Wild West. Does he think he's a real cowboy or something? Howdy there, John. Where's Bo? Oh, uh, he had a steer roll on him yesterday. It's terrible. Yeah, I know. Uh, he's doing fine, though. Well, I, uh, I guess we'll have to cancel the weekend. Oh, well, actually, Max, uh, my daddy reckons you could do it. Yeah, yeah please, 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 please. Well, I, uh... <laughs> okay. Yes! <laughs> Max, we were going away this weekend. Um, Deb, what could I do? The kids were really looking forward to the Western Clinic. Max Regnery, you are the most unromantic man I have ever met. Looks like Megan's rustling your cowboy. Always wanted to learn wrestling. We must seem totally pathetic to you. I mean, we don't know anything about riding Western. Oh, that's all right, little lady. It's real easy. Will you show me? Isn't it exactly the same as riding English, except for the tack? Megan, what are you talking about? They're completely different. OK, everyone, gather around. Now, this is the Western or Roping Saddle. It's based on the deep-seated saddle brought to America by the Spanish conquistadors. It's designed to support the rider during fast turns and manoeuvres when he... Or she. Yep, or she is cutting cattle or calf roping. Are we going to ride on them? Indeed we are, Megan. John and I will make sure you're comfortable in the saddles and Mrs Red will take you out on the trail. And when you get back, John and I will do our best to show you how to be a genuine cowpook. So saddle up. I don't know, it's all by 
itself it might be wild. Around here? Let's go check it out. Where'd it go? I think we scared it. Maybe it lives around here. He seems like a nice guy, doesn't he? Hey, John Brightstar, of course. Yeah, he does. Well, he's not. What do you mean? He's faking it. I know guys like that. He wants you to think he's really sweet, and then... And then what? He'll turn on you. You can do so much better, Megan. John, we saw this horse when we were out riding today. It was really wild. It was scared and jittery. Oh, uh, well, was this up near uh, Eagle Crag? Yeah, just on the other side. There's a story that kind of goes with that horse. Uh, Max? The horse's name is Bell. Bell? Who's Bell? The old folk talk about it. A phantom horse who roams the countryside. Why? Well, the story goes that the horse belonged to a beautiful woman. <laughs> a princess. Right. Now, this beautiful woman fell in love with someone across the valley, but they could never be together because their families were feuding. So, they used to meet secretly up on the peaks until one day, a bad snowstorm caught them. The next day, the townsfolk found them huddled in each other's arms. They died from the cold? Now, Belle, half dead from the cold herself, led the search party to them. But it was too late. And the families buried the lovers side by side so they could be together forever. And Belle? Well, Belle went wild. No one could get near her. They say that to this day, she wanders the uplands, looking for her one true rider. I just caught a shiver. They say anyone who tries to tame her will be cursed. Only Belle can choose the rider to replace her beloved first owner. Hello world, this is me, that should be. Let me show you life can be so pure Seize the day Wear a big happy smile on your face In every life a little rain will fall But that won't change my attitude at all You are you I am me, we'll be free Hello world This is me Life 
Out there all by herself. Maybe she ran away. No, there was something about her. Did you see her face? It was like she wanted us to follow her. Are you sure you saw a real horse? Hmm? I mean, what if she's the phantom mare in John's story? Get her! <laughs> <laughs> okay, girls, get some sleep. I expect you all to be professional cowgirls by the end of the weekend. <laughs> Good night, Mrs. Rigg. Good night. That was a real horse, and I'm going to find her tomorrow and prove it. Steve, you can't. You heard what Max said. Anyone who tries to catch her will be cursed. I hope the phantom horse isn't creeping around here somewhere. Oh, please. There's no such thing. But Max said Max that... was telling a scary campfire story. But Stevie saw the phantom horse. It's a saddle club trick. Stevie trying to be the center of attention, pathetic as usual. You mean she didn't see anything? Of course not. But she could be up to something, and I'm going to find out what. Where are you going? I told you, I'm going to find Belle. What are we supposed to tell Mrs. Rigg? Don't worry, I'll be back before breakfast. She won't even know I was gone. Timing. Mrs. Wright just rang the breakfast bell. Did you see the horse? I got about this close, and then Veronica scared her off. What was Veronica doing there? Spoiling things. What else is new? What did the horse look like up close? Well, she was kind of dirty and straggly, and all by herself. Does my hair look okay? Uh-huh. I'm going back to get her. What? You can't. Remember the story, the horse has to choose her rider, not the other way around. Lisa, we're talking about a real horse out there. She could be sick. She needs me and I'm going to help her. Remember the plan. If Megan tries to sit next to John at breakfast... I accidentally spill orange juice in her lap. Right. What's wrong with you? I knew we shouldn't be sleeping in the hayloft. This place is crawling with fleas. I tried to tell Mrs. Rigg, but she wouldn't listen. You're probably cursed. What? You know the story. You followed Stevie when she went after the phantom horse. I think being lovesick has eaten away your brain. Oh, yeah? Well, how come you're covered in an itchy red rash and I'm fine? <gasps> I told you we shouldn't be sleeping in the hayloft. Look at me, I'm covered in flea bites. Those would have to be pretty big fleas, Veronica. Yeah, so? Now, that is a textbook case of poison ivy, if ever I've seen one. You didn't wander off the trail at all yesterday, did you? Don't be silly. Well, are you going to call an ambulance? I think you'll live. Here. Ew, gross! Now, what is there? that? It's just a little home remedy that I've perfected 
over the years. Oh, get that grease away from me. The only stuff that goes on this skin is bottled in Europe. Hey, this stuff works. You're welcome, Veronica. What are you doing? John's going to show us some more of his stuff. I'm trying to call my parents so they can get me out of this nightmare. Something's wrong with this stupid phone. It's probably the... Don't say it! First, it was the poison ivy. And now my cell phone. It's probably... The... There's no such thing as a curse. The battery. Maybe your cell phone's battery is dead. It's fine. Then it's probably the curse. Oh! I hope your dad's back on his feet real soon, John. You should come back and learn how to write English with us sometime. That would be so cool. Look! Keep that horse away from me, it's cursed! How's it going? This place is so relaxing. Isn't that good? Oh, unless you're a journalist, then it's bad. Well, newspapers are about things that happen. And nothing much happens here. What about the phantom horse? <laughs> Did that happen, Max? Really? <laughs> Deborah Hale. Hi. No, I was just working on it. Oh, no, not yet. I've got till the end of next week. Tomorrow night? No, I can't. OK, um, not a problem. Um, yeah, on your desk by five o'clock. Thanks. Bye. Oh, Max, what am I going to do? They've just moved my deadline forward and I don't have a single idea for the story. Ah, something will come up. Out! Amush! Ah. How'd you catch her? I didn't really. She sort of came to me after a while. She chose you? You're the one. You can't keep her. Why not? Would you mind giving us a moment? I'd like to talk to Stevie. I named her Belle. You know, after the phantom horse in the story. She's no phantom. She's not wild. She's obviously been domesticated. I'd say she either got loose or, or someone abandoned her. Who would do something like that? Look at her. She's so sweet. Stevie, I know you're trying to do what's best, but she's not your horse. So whose is she? Look at her. She's half starved to death. She hasn't been groomed in forever. And her hooves are a mess. Someone just left her out there all alone. We don't know what happened to her or how long she's been out. I'm going to call my parents. They have to let me keep her. Stevie, this is not like the time you tried to free the school goldfish. 
This horse is going to need a home, a vet, food. This is a huge commitment. She trusts me, and I'm not going to let her down. Tell your parents that you can work off part of the board. And tell them I can look after Belle when you go on holiday. And we can help you take care of her so you won't have to do everything yourself. OK. Come on, Stevie. But what if they say no? You weren't nerd to you, Cole. You're still stuck for a warm feeling story? No, I'm just pacing for the exercise. Well, you can relax. I think your story just walked into the stable. Oh, don't tease me. How does Pine Hollow student saves abandoned horse sound? Perfect. Grab your camera. Say hello to the newest member of the Pine Hollow family. Hello. Don't take it personally, Max. She's kind of shy till she gets to know you. Stevie, can I get a picture of you and, um, Belle? <laughs> well, that looks like front page material to me. Stephanie Lake, a long-time rider at Pine Hollow Stables, says finding Belle was like a dream come true. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Stephanie, have I got a surprise for you. Well, is she going to be OK? I'm not going to lie to you. It looks as if Belle's had a rough time of it. Meaning? Well, as near as I can say, she was probably once a trained saddle horse. But as a result of neglect, she's malnourished, her feet haven't been trimmed for months, her teeth need floating. And did you see the scabby patches on her back and neck? They're probably rain rot. But she's going to be OK, though, isn't she? With time and a lot of love and attention. You think you can handle that? Of course I can. How could anyone have abandoned such a beautiful horse? It must have been a monster. Everything seems so boring without John Brightstar around. I wish she didn't have to go home. <laughs> Me too. At least she didn't babble about him so much when he was here. I hope he writes to me. Can he write? Why do you say that? Well, he can't talk properly. You were so hard on my boyfriends. I've had better conversations with my horse. Oh, I hate this. Scratch my back, Christy, please. Where are you going? Get back here! Hey, Comanche, look at Belle. Doesn't she look beautiful now? All clipped and clean. Don't forget, he likes apples and jelly beans, but no black ones. Yeah, I know. You've only told me like a million times. Sorry. Have a good ride. <laughs> you miss Comanche, huh? Yeah, it's kind of weird seeing him with another rider. It's OK. <laughs> What's wrong? It's the saddle. It's OK. Everything's OK. I'll turn her out, put her in the paddock, and let her run for a while. Christy, would you wait up? My mum's getting me tickets to the big concert at the Coliseum. Want to come? Are they good seats? Please. Where else would I sit? I bet we can get backstage passes too. Whoa! What happened? I tripped, Brainiac. How? Help me up and I'll draw you a diagram. These old things are too big for me. What happened to your new boots? I lost one of them. Where? It wouldn't be lost if I knew where. You see, you shouldn't hang out with these hicks. Your IQ's through the floor. The tripping and the boots. I think they're related. Well, duh, I just said that. No, it's the curse. We agreed not to mention that again. It's ridiculous. I know I've been kind of busy with Belle lately, but I'll make it up to you. How about we go for a nice long run on the beach? Stevie, quick, it's Belle! <sighs> 
Hey, Christy. John, why are you here? Oh, Max arranged for me to stay while Dad's in hospital. Fantastic. Where's your accent? And your clothes? Oh, that's all part of the show. You know, the Western Clinic. <laughs> this is me. That's amazing. I mean, that's cool. I've been trying to bring her in for half an hour. She keeps running away. Whoa. Belle, calm down. Slow down there. Whoa, Belle, it's okay. Take it Whoa, Oops. Hmm? You, you're on your hmm? chin. Oh, <laughs> you must think I'm a real slob. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, do you want to go on a trail ride? Oh, hey, check this out. Oh. Has anyone seen a very expensive leather riding boot in... Leave me alone with him. Mm. Mm. I thought you liked him. So did I. I thought he was cool and romantic. Shh, but shh. now that I'm getting to know him, shh, shh, he's just a big fat geek. Shh, shh, uh -huh. Nothing to worry about. We just need to get you home, okay? Trust me, no one's going to hurt you. Way to go, Stevie. Did you see that? Oh, that was excellent. Hope you guys are taking notes. It's got to be in here somewhere. Maybe... Maybe it is the curse. Curse? What curse? <sighs> Nothing. It's just... Oh, never mind. Okay. <sighs> Ow! <sighs> it's the curse of the phantom horse. What do you mean, Veronica? <sighs> Belle, she's cursed. Ever since I scared away that dumb mule, I can't do anything right. I lost a boot. I trip over things that aren't there. And poison ivy. That hardly sounds catastrophic. Well, what about the concert tickets? My mum always gets me front row seats at the Coliseum. And this time, she tells me she can't even get me in the door. I see. And you think this is because of a curse? Well, what else could it be? Life? Veronica, <laughs> there's no such thing as a curse. I hate these stupid no, no, boots. Don't get so angry, Veronica. Luck doesn't come to angry people. But the whole world's against me. That's not true. The world's a good place. And the boot will come back. When you deserve it. You okay? I just saw the most amazing thing. What was that? I saw Stevie with Belle just now. And they were joined somehow, eye to eye, by something so strong. <sighs> Hello? Anyone there? Yeah. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Where can I find Stephanie Lake? <clears throat> Poor Belle. She's so afraid of everyone. I don't even want to think what made her so scared of people. Whatever it was, she's safe now. That's her. Stevie, this is uh, Chelsea Owens. She thinks Belle is her missing horse. She can't be. Well, look at the brand. There's no mistaking it. That's my blackie. Her name's Belle. 
And how do we know she's not the one who abandoned her? Well, this is the police report that I filed when the horse was stolen. Well, she's mine now. I found her. Stevie, I'm sorry. No! Maybe she was yours before, but she didn't choose you. She chose me. Stevie, maybe we should go into Max's office and... No! Listen, thank you for looking after her. I appreciate it, but I'd like to take my horse home now, if you don't mind. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do, Stevie. This horse legally belongs to Miss Owens. Come on, Blackie. Let's get you back in your store. Don't do this to me. You've been doing this all morning. Oh, you stupid horse! Come back here, you rotten nag! And it's all my fault. If I hadn't written that article... Oh, you can't blame yourself. Chelsea legally owns that horse. She has every right to take her. There's nothing we can do about it. I guess. At least Stevie's still got Comanche, right? Well, yes and, uh, no. I told Sam he could ride Comanche in lessons. Oh, no. Well, it was time Sam moved to a more advanced horse. I thought Stevie had Belle. I mean, she can still ride Comanche, just not as much as she used to. There has to be another horse that Sam can ride. Well, I don't think it'll make Stevie any happier. She's got to get over Belle first. I have to do something. I have to find some way to make it up to her. Like what? Make some phone calls. Christy! Christy, you in here? Oh, there you are, Christy. Oh. Didn't you hear me calling you? Oh, I guess I was daydreaming. So, I bet we have a lot in common. What do you like to do? Oh, lots of stuff. Riding, mountain biking, and there's my drums. <laughs> Right, how could I forget about your drums? Still don't get why you brought me here. You'll see. Chelsea! What are you doing here? We came to see Belle. I mean, Blackie. Stevie wanted to say goodbye. Where is she? Ugh, don't look at me. She broke out of a paddock and ran off. Why didn't you go after her? Oh, that mare's crazy. She could have trampled me. She's just scared. And who could blame her after all she's been through? Belle! What's happening? Shh. Christy, where are you? Hey, is that John Brightstar? Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's visiting for the weekend. He's been looking all over for you. Me? It sounded like he was looking for you. Sure, because I told him I'd look for you. That's right, he can't stop talking about you. Megan this and Megan that. I think he likes you. You said he was leading me on. I was just checking him out, making sure he was good enough for you. You deserve the best, and that's John. Do you know much about Western Quarter Horses? <laughs> no. Perfect. Belle! It's okay! Belle! <laughs> Belle! Come back! Belle! Come on, Belle! Belle! So anyway, it's called the Western Quarter Horse because in Kentucky, they used to race a quarter mile. A quarter mile, a quarter horse, get it? A quarter mile, you get it? It's a good one. Yeah. It's a... Well, it's not use. That horse is long gone. No, she's not. Belle's around here somewhere. She's just hiding, that's all. She's scared. Belle! Come on, Belle! It's okay, it's me. I won't hurt you. Come on, Stevie, she could be anywhere. <laughs> Now, that mare's wild. There's no telling what she'll do. Stevie, be careful. It's OK. Whoa. It's OK. 
Thanks for catching Blackie for me. Her name's Belle. Not Blackie, what an awful name. My horse. I'll call her anything I please. And you can get off my property right now. Both of you. I think you should give Belle to the girl. They belong together. Who asked your opinion? I'm a journalist. I'd give it anyway. You're trespassing. I'm calling the police. Well, I'm sure that they'll be interested in my opinion about your run of bad luck. What is it now? Um, four horses stolen in a row. But then there's that good luck of those insurance payouts. Why, I bet you've actually got a form with Blackie's name on it half filled out already. If the police aren't interested in my opinion, I'm sure that my readers will be. John, going home so soon? Yeah, yeah, um, I'm needed back on the farm. Um, look, I, I just... Look, I think you're really nice and everything, and... And, um... You just want to be friends? Well, do you think you'll be okay with that? I'll get over it. <laughs> See you later, Christy. Bye, Veronica. He dumped you for her? I set it up. There is something wrong with you, Veronica. Accept it. No luck. Mrs. Reg, do you ever think that the whole world's against you? Everything has a reason behind it. I've done nothing to deserve all this bad luck. Have you considered that the world isn't against you? It's you against yourself. You want everything to be perfect, including yourself. <laughs> Leave that for heaven. It's not going to happen here. Mrs. Reg, Your boot. Looks like your luck's changing already. <laughs> what? Not your usual five-star restaurant. It's more like five billion stars. You know that story you told about Belle? Is it true? Well, John and his dad say it is. And they spend time up in the mountains. They've seen Belle quite a few times. Have you seen her? No. I haven't. But you believe it, even though you've never seen it? Well, nothing is true if you don't believe it. I can't believe you just said that. And me sitting right next to you. You're so full of surprises. Do you think Belle will remember me? Why don't you ask her for yourself? What are you doing here? Did something happen to Belle? Is she all right? She's fine. Remember you said a horse has to choose its owner. Well, it looks like Belle's made her choice. You. Kimichi, I want you to meet Belle. Sam's gonna ride you now because I've got Belle. But that doesn't mean I don't love you. You guys are gonna love each other.
Won't you?